Do you know how DYK Funky Science? It was a hot day. I decided to grab Coke. First, I filled my cup with ice and poured Coke. Then, bubbles started to explode like a volcano. Suddenly, I remembered the days I visited KFC. I was getting a Coke from the beverage machine. I filled the cup with ice and got the Coke exactly the same way. However, the Coke did not cause so much bubbles. Is Coke from KFC different? Let's find out why with funky science. As you all may know, Coke is full of CO2. CO2 is compressed as if CO2 is inside the Coke prison. CO2 inside Coke is very unstable, just waiting for chance to escape. If you put your finger inside a Coke, wrinkles on finger help CO2 to turn it into bubbles. Like this. Same principle applies to ice. Ice looks shiny and smooth, but actually it has rough surface, where CO2 will stay to cause bubbles. The site, like wrinkles on finger or rough surface of ice, is called nucleation site. Why did ice taken from freezer cause more bubble? The reason is water. Ice taken from our fridge has dry surface, which means it has more nucleation sites. But ice from KFC is usually stored inside an ice container, so ice won't be frozen perfectly, but slightly melted. If the ice melts, the CO2 will interact with water rather than the dry surface. The interaction between CO2 with nucleation site will decrease, leading to less bubble formation. Such principle can be applied to beer glass. If bottom of the beer glass is etched with laser, there are more chances for CO2 to interact with nucleation site, making beer look more fresh. This applies to Mentos Coke experiment. If Coke contacts rough surface of Mentos, uprising bubble fountain will be right in front of your face, and the children will go wild. Now you know about the nucleation site. Funky science, DYK, huh? Do you know?